Fidel Castro was one of the most enduring figures of the Cold War. But who was Fidel Castro, and how did he acquire the position he held? Fidel Castro was born in Cuba in August of 1926. He attended the University of Havana, where he became interested in political matters. After college, he became involved with the revolutions and rebellions in the Dominican Republic and Colombia. In the early 1950s, he became convinced that the Cuban president, Fulgencio Batista, needed to be overthrown. Castro led a failed attack in 1953, which led to a one-year imprisonment. After his release, he traveled to Mexico with his brother Raul and fellow revolutionary Che Guevara. In Mexico, Castro assembled a fighting force of 80 men and purchased an old yacht. Armed with 90 rifles, 40 pistols, and 3 machine guns, he began the 1,200-mile journey back to Cuba. Upon returning, Castro and Guevara took key roles in the war against Batista, finally overthrowing him in 1959. After Batista's ouster, Fidel Castro seized control of the government, becoming the Prime Minister and, eventually, President. The U.S. government distrusted Castro and attempted to remove him from power. This incident was known as the Bay of Pigs invasion. Cuban exiles, supported by the U.S., invaded Cuba, hoping that the people would rise up and overthrow Castro. When this did not happen, the exiles were defeated easily. Following the Bay of Pigs invasion, Castro declared that Cuba would become a communist nation, and he allied himself with the Soviet Union. He allowed the Soviets to place nuclear bases in Cuba, causing the events that were eventually known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. Castro continued to consolidate his power in Cuba, becoming a dictator. Those who spoke out against Castro's policies were arrested. Some estimates claim that as many as 15,000 Cubans were executed because of their opposition to Castro. Those not executed were placed in unsanitary prisons where they were beaten, tortured, and interrogated. Others who opposed Castro attempted to escape. Utilizing small boats or rafts, they braved a difficult journey through the Caribbean Sea in an effort to reach the United States. It is estimated that approximately 1.2 million Cubans have left the island for the United States since Castro gained power. In 2008, due to his age and poor health, Fidel Castro relinquished control over Cuba, handing the reins of government to his brother, Raul Castro. Fidel Castro died on November the 25th, 2016, at the age of 90.